You know how in cinematic trailers the devs show gameplay features in a more uh, cinematic way? Like for example in the Valhalla cinematic trailer I remember vividly seeing Eivor striking that big dude and the axe just bouncing off the armor. I said it could signify some sort of combat gameplay feature that meant we needed to find some weak point in the armor or just fight distinct enemies in different ways. And that's exactly what we got in Valhalla. So let's take a look at the brand new Assassin's Creed Mirage cinematic trailer to see what juicy features might be coming our way, some of them already confirmed with some early articles. <laughs> Okay, so Basim removes his hood here. I am begging you, Ubisoft, please give us a dedicated hood toggling option, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. We see a market bustling with people, goods, food, your senses are being triggered left and right, maybe signaling Basim's improved sensing abilities through the Eagle Sense. Not only that, seeing that many people in the market is a good sign, maybe it's a return of the franchise to social stealth by mixing in with the crowd. Now Basim steals an item from someone, I believe this could also be somewhat of a feature similar to what we had in Assassin's Creed 1, where we could swipe important items from distracted enemies. I'm interested to see how they're gonna implement that here. <laughs> While running, Basim destroys a stand onto the path so he can slow down his pursuers, something we could already do somewhat in Assassin's Creed 1. After this, Basim loses his footing, which is understandable, he's young and untrained. Could this mean we're gonna have some sort of parkour progression worked into the skill tree? There are three of them already confirmed, Trickster, Phantom and Predator. It could work in interesting ways, so I'm really looking forward to see if I'm right. And next we see Roshan being a badass and using some cool assassin tools like throwing knives and using a pulley rope to navigate and do an air assassination. Now, we can see Basim holding a sword and a dagger. I I'm not sure if this is Basim's default stance or if we're going to see some sort of dual wielding possibilities going on in the game. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Wow, what a beautiful shot. Basim's eagle overlooking a quite large location. This is already confirmed to be Baghdad with a sizable countryside around it. Hide in plain sight. Okay, a lot to unpack here. First of all, hide in plain sight. We can see Basim disguised as a beggar to get close to his target. After that we can see some quick edit of him assassinating three guards. This is an already confirmed feature called Assassin Focus. A multiple assassination feature that can be upgraded through the skill tree. After getting noticed, Basim throws another assassin tool staple, the smoke bomb that now is red, which is so freaking cool. After doing some cool parkour, we see, I believe, poison traps on the ground that allow Basim to gain some distance from his pursuers. Now we can clearly see the eagle in action, signifying to Basim it has found the target, so we can expect to use the eagle to similar extents as in previous games. Whoa, bombs! I'm really interested to see if we're gonna be able to use enemies as shields as Basim does here. You are a hidden one. <laughs> Basim kills an order of the Ancients member here. Really cool mask. And the assassination confession room is back with the old school feather. And that's a Loki. Alright guys, those are all my predictions for Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. See you all next time. Bye!